A little while back, I shared my review for the Tourbox Elite, which is a product that I dubbed my favorite artist accessory for digital painters. However, it was a little bit outside the price range for a lot of artists out there. So Tourbox has created the Tourbox Lite, which is a slightly trimmed down version of the Tourbox Elite, but a fraction of the cost. Stick around to the end because I'm gonna let you know how you can get a chance to win one of these awesome accessories for yourself. When you get caught up in some new, some new hobby, some new interest, some new passion. For instance, the audio and video. First you get your camera. And then, oh, lenses. Okay, so you have to go and study lenses. And then, oh, uh, uh, straps. And then different carrying options and, and carrying belts. And then camera cages and cases and tripods and motion equipment. There is a very deep rabbit hole associated with camera equipment. And this whole setup probably costs you thousands of bucks. Every day you sit down to do your work and shoot your YouTube videos. The whole process of getting set up to shoot your videos can take like an hour. You know, setting up all your batteries and you're clipping them, making sure your batteries are all thing and your wires and all that kind of stuff and you're all hooked up and your monitors are all in the right place. And one day maybe you don't have access to that crap and you just want to shoot a stupid video. So you grab a tripod, click, boop. You hit record and you realize your video didn't suffer at all for that, did it? In fact, it's exactly the same video it was before. What you realized was you spent a lot of money and a lot of time to add a ton of friction to the production process. Let's make a quick comparison between the older, much more expensive Tourbox Elite versus the new Tourbox Lite. Number one, the big differences. Bluetooth on the Elite. The Lite, no Bluetooth. That's first. On the Elite, you have far more functions. You have a full D-pad, an extra dial, and a side button, which all together brings you to up to 20 configurable, customizable settings. On the Lite, we don't have that extra dial, and um, we don't have the side button. So you can get up to 12 altogether, 12 versus 20. So that can be significant for some people. Most of all, this is double the price of the light. And I think that's one of the main reasons why Tourbox created the light version, to trim it down to the bare essentials and knock off the cost because one of the main comments that a lot of artists said is, this is outside of our budget. It's a little bit too pricey for an accessory for me at this point. The main benefit of using a Tourbox is that it facilitates and speeds up those constant actions. The color picking, the brush size, the zooming in and out, the navigating around your screen, the undos and redos. And that's 12, 12 buttons can take care of all of that. It's actually exactly the same footprint, give or take a little bit of a de uh, design difference. And the dimensions are slightly different, but they have almost identical footprints. What I'd say I actually prefer on the Tourbox Lite is the design. If you look at the buttons on the Tourbox Elite, you're gonna see that it's basically a flat surface with buttons sticking out of it, okay? And that's significant not only to the look of it, but also the way it feels. Or on the Lite version, You'll see on the light version that they're indented. All of these buttons, indented, indented, indented. I don't really find that that looks prettier visually, but it also makes it easier for your hand to kind of find that groove and find the dial. As far as my recommendations are concerned, I think unless you need Bluetooth, unless you need those extra buttons, I think that this one's the one that most people are gonna prefer. I took it out of the box and I plugged it in, I installed the software and literally within 37 seconds, I was completely comfortable on it. It's a brilliant little product. It, it doesn't take up any space on your desk. There's only a couple of little functions that I need my keyboard for. Maybe transforming, selecting, using color pickers and stuff like that, you know, stuff like that. But every other regular function that you do, that you do when you're painting, it's all right there. And what's brilliant about this product is that it's designed kind of like a, like a video game D-pad. Every button, knob, and wheel have a different, unique feel to it, so your hands and your muscle memory is instantaneous. There's no learning curve. Your hands memorize these different knobs just for using a regular game controller. It's exactly, your hands know where to go. 
instantaneously. However, I wouldn't be so strongly endorsing this product and really putting my, my reputation as a professional behind a very big claim for a product unless it did one more thing. And that was actually improve my productivity as an artist. But here's the thing, it does speed up your process because things that would normally require you to move your hand and like for instance, a good example would be changing your brush size or zooming in and zooming out. Normally that requires a couple of keyboard shortcuts, moving over to the bracket keys, increasing, decreasing. So it's the speed of your clicks and moving your hand over and then moving your hand back over to the space bar is something that takes half a second but it's half a second nonetheless, where if you're using something like this, your hand isn't moving. All of those keyboard shortcuts are right there and you can feel them and you're looking at your screen. So you're not changing your brush size by way chuk, 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 by clicking the button and then reducing it. No, you're going whoop, 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 whoop. It's very fast and responsive because it's a quick one motion turn. So increase your brush size, paint, Reduce brush size, zoom in, zoom out, click to recenter your, your zoom, press the press a modifier to do a straight line. It's instantaneously fast, and I realized that I was moving forward through my artwork, and I felt even more connected to my artwork because it was less of my brain, less of my processing power going down to the keyboard, as little processing power as a keyboard requires of the artist, depending on your personal experience. The default keyboard shortcuts right out of the gate are the, the presets that they have right there for the different apps are almost nail it. You, you can plug and play, you can literally plug and play it. You plug it in, you go online, you download the Tourbox app for your particular operating system. You download it, you install it, you open the app, you're going, you're going, open up Photoshop and start painting. That whole process takes exactly a minute. Right out of the gate, most of those keyboard shortcuts are everything you're gonna need in most cases. And I'm gonna share with you a keyboard shortcut that after 20 years of working in Photoshop, I didn't know existed until maybe a month ago when one of my students told me this. In case you didn't know, the tilde key, which is the little squiggle key just above your tab key, switches you back and forth between the same brush and eraser of the same kind. It toggles between brush and eraser of that same kind. So if I set a certain specific brush and then I hit the tilde key, it's gonna become an eraser of that kind, of that size and style of brush, instantly. So that's one of the keyboard shortcuts that I changed. I changed the top vertical button, which is a button I hit all the time when I'm designing, I'm brushing and sculpting. Then you just, I just click that button to go brush, erase. You're welcome. Plug and play and you're off to the races. And any little customizations you wanna make, I've never known an app and a piece of hardware to work seamlessly together this easily. You have it, it opens it up, there you go. You see you see your toolbox, I've got it right over here. If I wanted to change one of these buttons, I just make sure that that, that window is active and I click the button and it immediately sends me to where that, where that button is. Click on it, change it to whatever keyboard you want, hit enter, you're good to go. You don't have to go fishing around through the menu looking for it, all you have to do is rotate that knob or click that knob because every single knob here rotates and clicks as well. So you get multiple functions per little dial and knob and within five minutes of using this accessory, you have my word that you are going to notice that you're working faster than you did prior to that. And it's going to be, for a lot of you, the first time you ever put hands on this product. I also, to be completely honest with you, prefer the fact that this is plugged, that it's a wired connection because you don't have to worry about batteries. So it's just, I plug it in right here. If I was to add one little, one little thing to my wish list, it would be really, really awesome, and they might even be considering this, for them to make a tablet version of this. To get what, to, to produce one that works with your iPad Pro. To have some little, very, very portable, slip it into a little thing, no having to worry about a keyboard or anything like that, just have a little accessory that you can set up and use with Art Studio Pro or Procreate. That would be chef's kiss to me because then you'd have a truly, truly whole portable, very professional setup. So how can you get a chance to win one of these awesome accessories for yourself? Number one, subscribe to this channel and to Tour Box Tech. I'll leave a link in the description below. Secondly, make sure to leave a comment in the description below and let us know how you would customize this for yourself. And heck, maybe you can share some cool keyboard shortcuts in the process. 
A lucky winner will be chosen at random and I'll give you all the details from there. Let me know what your keyboard shortcuts would be. Let me know if you have any ideas for this product moving forward. And uh, one of you will be chosen at random to win one of these for yourself. Sound fun? All right. Well, thank you for watching and happy shopping. Take care.